Erie Insurance is the owner of the building. You can really tell they take pride in the city of Erie and, and how much you know, they're investing in downtown Erie. It is basically a seven-story building, multiple mechanical systems, chiller systems, some cooling towers, uh, glycol cooling systems for IT rooms, things like that. We owned the entire mechanical contract for the facility, which included piping and equipment. We also had the plumbing contract for the building. The final deliverable will be a fully coordinated, as-built Revit model that we'll turn over to the owner. Laser scanning helps us in that when we deliver that Revit model to the owner, we know that this particular element sits in this space. The basement was a very challenging part of the building due to the amount of equipment they were trying to um, have placed. Laser scanning um, enables us to quickly ascertain if there is an issue of an element or a component being off in the field, who needs to move and what's the most efficient way to get that resolved. Because everybody knows when you're in construction, it's that aspect that either makes or breaks a project. The penthouse of the building basically houses two direct outside air handlers. There's a lot going on there. With all that piping and routing and coordinating, doesn't do you really any good if you're running into stuff. Once we had the unit set, we went up with the scanner, scanned the whole penthouse, found out where we could run our pipe, where we couldn't, developed the design of the piping, spooled it out, sent a fab, sent it out to the field and bolts right up. That was a huge success. I mean, you had several pipes, uh, four or five, six inch pipes uh, that we were able to spool up and fabricate and, you know, there, there was, wasn't any rework on it. We used the scanner to go out and uh, capture that information and make sure it gets back into the model as built and also use it for pre-construction, uh, prefabrication in our, in our warehouse here to uh, do all our final connections. So after I've been out to the site and I've scanned and everything like that, I'm gonna bring the SD card back and I'll, I'll offload it here into one of the two major applications that we use. Obviously, Faro itself offers a very complete uh, software package with Scene. From there, we do a registration and then once it's fully registered, we'll verify everything and then we'll get it to a usable file, like a recap file for use in Autodesk software. My role comes in after the scan and the point cloud is created is to then import that point cloud into Revit and then review our engineering documents, find out what our scope of work is, and then to start designing those model elements in Revit. Once I feel like we've got a good way in, in Revit, we then move it into Revisto, which is our uh, issue tracking resolution and coordination software. Laser scanning helps us on the coordination side because it is an accurate measurement of what's going on out there in the field. You look at a model, you look at a drawing, a picture, it's not real world accurate. The scanner is. Here at Spader, we've been using laser scanning technology for the last seven or eight years and we've always used the Faro and it's fantastic. Faro has always been reliable, it's been ease of use, and the software has always given the results that we expected at the end. I don't really view some of the technology, the scanners, as being optional anymore. 